Hello my people, do you know what is must adjustment? What is must and what is adjusted in the must? So must is unfermented grape juice. And components in the must that are adjusted are usually acidity, sugar levels and also alcohol level in the final wine. So these adjustments are tightly regulated in countries where the grapes are grown and where the wine is made. Usually this is not the best way to produce well-balanced grapes. Usually the best way to do it is by managing the ripeness of the grapes in the vineyard, depending on which, what kind of climate do you have. So usually in a cool climate, you're gonna have too much acidity and the grapes can be lacking ripe uh, sugar and potential uh, uh, higher alcohol wine. So acidity can be reduced, sugar levels can be increased. In a warm climate, you're gonna have opposite. You're gonna have maybe too much sugar, high alcohol in wine. All sugar levels cannot be reduced, but uh, alcohol can be removed from the final wine. And also very ripe grapes can lack acidity, so you can add acidity to the must. So how this is done? So the two ways to enrich, to add sugar levels in the must is by using something that's called RCGM, rectified concentrated grape must, which is a sugar syrup made from grapes, from grape sugar, that doesn't have any color or flavor. So it just gives sugar to the must. The second way is called chaptalization. So chaptalization is also adding sugar to the must, but the sugar is not coming from the grapes. It's usually sucrose that comes from beetroot. There's a third way to increase the sugar levels in the must and it's actually by removing the water but by removing water you're going to increase everything else acidity tannin and flavor and if the must has any faults maybe this will also get it enhanced the way that acidity is adjusted to the wine like i said in a cool climate the grapes can have maybe too much acidity so you're gonna add actually a chemical called alkali, which is opposite to acidity. So the acidity will be reduced, neutralized. And in a warm climate the, where the grapes can lack acidity, you can add tartaric acid in a powder form that will increase the acidity in the final wine. Wine people, let's simplify wine, stay thirsty and wise.